So the 49ers, there's been some rumors that they potentially could look to draft Alabama quarterback Mac Jones. And obviously the 49ers, they trade up to the, to the number three overall spot in the 2021 20, NFL draft, obviously to take a quarterback. And multiple reports have come out that the 49ers, there's a good chance they could select Mac Jones. And look, I actually do like what Mac Jones brings to the table. I believe if I were to choose between Mac Jones being overrated or underrated as a prospect, I'm going to choose Mac Jones as a prospect being underrated because I do believe Mac Jones has underrated arm strength. I do believe he makes great decisions with the football. He's an accurate quarterback. And I understand why Kyle Shanahan might captivate towards a quarterback like Mac Jones because the comparisons that Mac Jones as a prospect has been drawing in regards to NFL quarterbacks is a lot of people have compared him to Kirk Cousins and Matt Ryan. They've said if Mac Jones hits his ceiling, he potentially could become Matt Ryan, a former league MVP. And if he doesn't quite hit, he could potentially beat Kirk Cousins, a guy that maybe he's not good enough to win you a Super Bowl, but he's a very solid NFL starting quarterback. And Kyle Shanahan has worked with Kirk Cousins in the past. And he's worked with Matt Ryan in the past. And they almost and they almost won a Super Bowl together. And I think when 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 Kyle Shanahan sees Mac Jones, he sees a little bit of both of those guys. But see here's the thing. When I see Kirk Cousins and Matt Ryan, I see good quarterbacks, but not great quarterbacks. Kirk Cousins, he's good. But he has limit, but he has limited mobility. He's got an average arm and he has a losing record versus very high quality teams. Matt Ryan, he's good, but outside of his one MVP season, he's never been an elite quarterback. In fact, Matt Ryan has missed the playoffs seven times during his 13 year career, missed the playoffs more than half of his career. And look, Matt Jones is really good. So when I tell you the 49ers, should not draft Mac Jones. This has nothing to do with Mac Jones as a prospect. It more so has something to do with, I don't know, Justin Fields and Trey Lance and guys like that just being flat out better than Mac Jones, okay? Why would you trade up in the first round to go slate Mac Jones with the number three overall pick when you can grab Justin Fields or Trey Lance or someone like that? Guys that can do virtually the same thing as Mac Jones, but have more God-given talent and ability. To me, the 49ers would be settling and playing it safe if they draft Mac Jones. And look, the 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 knock the the, the what people are gonna say they're defending Mac Jones is oh, but Mac Jones is NFL ready right now, folks. This is not about just one year. This is about the big picture. Do you want to be great next year? Or do you want to be great for the next five to ten years? Because if you develop Justin Fields and or Trey Lance properly, they're, they have a chance to be great for the next five to ten, maybe 15 years if you put a great roster around them. And by the way, if I plug Justin Fields into this 49ers roster and he starts from day one, I believe you can win 10 games with Justin Fields right off the bat. Now, I would prefer that Justin Fields sit on the bench, but I like what Justin Fields brings to the table. Now, Trey Lance, he played at a smaller school versus not the greatest competition. So he and he he has he has only one year of a starting sample size, so he might need to sit for another year. But how come everyone knocks Trey Lance for only starting one year, but they don't knock Mac Jones for only starting for one full season? At Alabama, sometimes the one, those one-year starters don't automatically hit. And look, if the 49ers do draft Mac Jones, look, he's going to win them games. He's probably not going to be a bust because it's hard to be a bust when your head coach is Kyle Shanahan, when you've got really good running backs, uh, one of the top 10 offensive lines in all football, one of the top 10 offensive skill positions at your disposal in the NFL, along with an elite defense when healthy. It's hard to fail as a quarterback when that's your situation. But I'm here to tell you right now, I don't think the 49ers are going to be 
an elite team year in and year out like they should be if Mac Jones is their quarterback, especially in a division with Russell Wilson, Kyler Murray, and Matthew Stafford, okay? I'd rather take a big swing on a guy like Trey Lance or Justin Fields. And usually if you have the fourth best quarterback in your division, you don't always win that division year in and year out. There's a reason why Aaron Rodgers consistently wins his division. It's because he's the best quarterback in that division. Same thing with Peyton Manning back in the day. He always won the division because he was the best quarterback in the division. Okay? And you are in no rush to play Justin Fields or Trevor or, or Trey Lance. You're in no rush. You've got Jimmy Garoppolo. What's the rush? You won games with, with Jimmy Garoppolo. You got into a Super Bowl with Jimmy Garoppolo. Just take your shot for one year and then move on, okay? We understand Garoppolo's had injuries. There's a ceiling there. And by the way, does Mac Jones have a higher ceiling than Jimmy Garoppolo? Yes, he does. But is it by a wide margin? I'm going to say no. I think Jimmy Garoppolo and Mac Jones are very similar players. And Jimmy Garoppolo got to a Super Bowl in his first year as the full-time starter in San Francisco. If you're going to draft Mac Jones, you might as well keep Jimmy Garoppolo and put a great team around him. Because to me, you're not significantly upgrading if you draft Mac Jones. If you draft Mac Jones, you're not significantly upgrading. The only thing you're doing is getting Mac Jones on that rookie contract, which is really good. But why not get Justin Fields or Trey Lance on that on that rookie contract? Or maybe Zach Wilson if he falls to you. Okay, I don't understand why there's so much you know buzz about Mac Jones to the 49ers. If I'm Kyle Shanahan, I need to take risks. And if Kyle Shanahan doesn't want to develop Justin Fields or Trey Lance, then guess what? He doesn't deserve to get over the hump and win a Super Bowl because it takes a lot of hard work to get over the hump. Okay, Kyle Shanahan, listen, do a little bit of dirty work because in reality, if you develop Justin Fields and Trey Lance properly, you're going to be rewarded big time. So if I'm the 49ers, I'm not going cheap on a quarterback. I'm drafting someone like Trevor, not Trevor Lawrence. I'm drafting someone like Justin Fields or Trey Lance because those guys are just flat out more talented and have a higher ceiling than Mac Jones. It's nothing against Mac Jones, but compared to guys like Justin Fields, it's not even close to me as far as talent-wise and evaluating who's the better prospect in my opinion. Thank you so much for watching this video today. Please also note that the Juice Alert Sports Podcast is not just a YouTube channel. It is available on all podcasting platforms, including Spotify, Google Podcasts, iTunes, and Apple Podcasts. Also, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share this content with all your friends. This podcast is my favorite thing in the entire world right now. It is my passion. I want more people to listen to this podcast. I really want this podcast to grow. Also, a fun fact about me is that I want to go into the sports broadcasting and media world once I graduate from the University of Toledo, a college in Northern Ohio. I am looking to become one of the next great sports broadcasters and analysts out in the world. And I potentially would like to start my own network if this podcast really truly grows. Or if I fall short of that goal, I would love to work for a big time network like ESPN or Fox Sports 1. I am open to all networks. So if you believe in my dreams and you see or hear my passion through the screen, be sure to tell all your friends about the Juice Alert Sports Podcast. Stay motivated, you guys. Have a God-blessed day, and I'm out.